Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and we're doing another outfit guide. Today is one that's been requested by a lot of people and that is for the Lone Ranger. And now we've had quite a few requests for the original one from the show from the 50s and then also from the newer movie from I think 2013 is maybe when it came out. I can't remember off the top of my head. It wasn't very good so it's not a very memorable movie. And so I decided I'd do both of them in one video. So we'll be doing the older outfit uh, first and then the newer outfit afterwards. I'll also show you a horse, weapons, all that good stuff. So uh, let's just dive on into it and remember if at any point during the video you find yourself liking or enjoying it definitely click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it's a great way to stay up to date on everything i keep going and you're supporting the channel so with all that in mind let's just dive on in and start off with weapons all right and so the lone ranger is well known to dual wield two colt single action army revolvers in in both the original show and in the new movie and so in the game the cattleman revolver is the one that is the imitation of the colt single action army revolver so it is the natural starting point for this guide. You're going to want to give it improved rifling, improved sights, a short barrel, a pearl grip, because in the both the movie and the show he uses white grips. I think they're ivory, but pearl grip is the closest that we can come. And then you're going to want no carvings, no engravings, and we're going to want to make the entire gun nickel plated in some way, because his were always nickel plated. So the first way, and oftentimes one of the cheapest ways, because all the guns come this way, is just all iron. So iron for the barrel, cylinder, frame, hammer, sight, and trigger. Now the next best way, the one that I like to go with, it's a touch more expensive because usually you have, you know, it doesn't come this way. So if you still have it iron, you will have to pay to upgrade it. Uh, but the next best way is all nickel plating. And now I know it gives it a slightly more goldish tint here in the store, but trust me, it looks pretty silver when you're using it like on your person. And I like it. It looks a little bit more uniform. Plus it's not that expensive. It only costs six gold bars to do this for each gun. So 12 gold bars total if you want to really imitate this. But I think that looks quite a bit better. And of course the most expensive and most shiny way is all silver plating, which will cost you 18 gold bars per gun, so it is slightly more expensive. I don't really love the way that it looks uh, in the store here. It gives it that really rough and uneven look to it. I'm not nuts about that, but it doesn't look that bad when you're using it out on the streets. And like I said, out of the three, the silver is actually the shiniest, so if you want your guns to shine that much, then the silver is the way to go with that. Uh, and that is really your core weapon choices here, is uh, dual wielding two cattleman revolvers, because he does use cold single actions. So that's weapons. Let's move on to the outfits. All right, so here we have the older uh, Lone Ranger, the one from the 50s, and uh, the outfit turned out pretty dang good. It's not perfect because the 50s outfit was pretty unique in the way it looks, but it also depends on the pictures you look at because in some pictures, it looks like his whole outfit's white, and in some it looks like it is really light gray like this, but for the vast majority of them, it was a slightly darker grayish blue, uh, and that's what he wore all the time. Of course, you look at some brightly colored, like I guess digitally restored pictures, and it's like sky blue, so it really depends on what you're looking at, but this is the closest we could come to it in the game here. Uh, and I went with clean shaven, stubble, and a medium length brown hair for the hair, so uh, let's just go through the items that make up this outfit. So the white stalker hat is pretty dang close to what he wears in the old show. Uh, it, it's not crimped quite as much as his is, but it's approximately the same sh color, shape, and size. Giggity, 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 goo. Stick around. Plus, it's on the head about the same. So the white stalker hat is, in my opinion, the best hat for this outfit. For the eyewear, you actually have to go into the bandana section, and you need the bandit mask for this because it is identical to the mask that he wears. Now to get this, you have to go purchase it from Madman Nazar. I think it costs 20 gold bars, so it's not super cheap, but it is pretty essential for the outfit. So that's the eyewear slash bandana. For the shirt, we're gonna be using the gray padded shirt. And now it's not perfect. Like I said, for one thing, the color changes depending on the picture you look at, but in most accounts, it looks more blue than gray. And so this is not exactly the right color, but it is the right style. It is a lace up shirt like this, and he usually has it open. Uh, so this was the only shirt that was lace up, so it really is kind of the only option. For the gloves, I use the black riding gloves, and that's because pretty typically during the show, he wears uh, pretty skin-tight black leather gloves uh, very consistently, so those are the gloves. Uh, there's quite a few different ones. The plain leather gloves work as well, but I think these ones are the best. Now, the weapon equipment, of course, isn't perfect because we can't put the holster down to the side like he wore it, but he used a silver-studded uh, black leather gun belt, pretty as far as I can tell, the entire show, and uh, with an offhand holster. So I used the studded banded gun belt for the gun belt, and then I used the black sharpshooter holster in an attempt to try to match the style a little bit better than the matching offhand holster does with this gun belt. For the pants, I just wanted to match the shirt because his outfit is, it matches pretty much perfectly in the, in the show. Whichever color you're looking at, his shirt and pants are always basically exactly the same color. And so sticking with that gray, I went with the gray clerk pants. Uh, plus, I think they match the style, like, of the 
ones that he wore from the show very, very well. So those are the pants. For the boots, we've got the clean black Warren Ropers boots, and uh, we're wearing those on the outside of the pants. And for the spurs, we've got the black Gurdon Morrow spurs. Uh, I think they look a lot like the ones he wears in the show. I had to get close-ups of the shape of the spurs, and they were a wheel shape like this, not a star or a point, so that's why I used these. So they're looking at them side by side. Like I said, it's not flawless, but it is pretty dang close, and I think anybody looking at you wearing this in the game would be like, oh, he's going for the Lone Ranger. It'd be better if we could get that brighter blue, because I think a lot of the iconic photographs of him are the ones where you can see it in blue. Plus, it'd be great if we could wear the red neckerchief right on your neck. Uh, but other than that, I think this is as close as we can come to the classic Lone Ranger outfit. So let's move on to the newer Lone Ranger outfit. Now, this one, I think, turned out pretty dang good. I think it looks almost exactly like he does. Now, for this one, again, we're going to be going with the same thing. Uh, clean shaven, stubble, and medium length brown hair, like um, and also a medium dark brown hair. So it's going to be the same haircut as before. And then, uh, yeah, so let's just go through the items that make up this outfit. So the hat we're going to be using is the white Tiltham hat, and uh, it's because it matches the one he wears in the movie pretty dang well. It's almost exactly the same shape, size, and color. I think his in the movie is obviously a bit cleaner and a bit smoother, so this one has a bit more texturing and a little bit of a dirty look to it. Giggity. What? Nothing is stupid. But other than that, it matches it almost perfectly, and I don't really think there's another hat that would be a good substitute. If there was a white variant of the cutter hat that matched, I guess that would be okay, but I think the Tiltham hat fits the best. Again, for the eyewear, we're going to be using that bandit mask, uh, and that's going to be under the bandanas. Again, you get this from Madman Nazar. And again, there's really no substitute. You gotta have the mask. So we're going to have a coat on this, because this variant of the Lone Ranger wears a coat, and I think the clean black roller jacket is the best option. There's a couple options that would work okay, but I think the roller jacket looks basically perfect. The black paisley vest is, in my opinion, the best vest for it. There's a couple black vests that work okay, but I think this one's perfect. For shirts, the clean white everyday shirt, and we're going to open up the collar on that. For weapon equipment, we're going to have the studded bandit gun belt, the black variant of that, and the black embossed gunslinger holster as the offhand holster. Then for the pants, the brown Cabrera pants are actually going to be the ones that I think match his outfit from the movie the best. Then for the footwear, we're going to have the uh, black, but the wore out black variant of the worn Roper's boots, and we're going to have those underneath the pants. And then I couldn't find any images of him wearing spurs with the boots, so I did not include any spurs. Uh, this one, I think, matches the outfit quite a bit better than my classic one. The problem with the classic one is it was, you know, 50s and 60s eras westerns had pretty campy outfits that uh, don't really match either A, realism or historical accuracy, or B, most of what's available in modern media. And so this game is far more tailored to newer western styles, like our interpretations now of what western styles look like, which is actually far more accurate than the ones from like the mid-1900s. So considering they were closer, you think they'd have been better at imitating Wild West clothing accurately, but they're really not. Uh, so this one turned out, I think, a lot better than the classic outfit. But uh, both of them turned out decently well, and so now you should be able to imitate the Lone Ranger, whether you're a fan of the classic TV show or the modern movie. And of course, you can't really be the Lone Ranger without his trusty horse sidekick, Silver. And so that's why I'm just going to show you, there's basically two horses that I think were well enough for it. And the first one is the white clad Ruber. And now this is one of the uh, trader horses, I think. I can't remember for sure. But it's one of the roll horses. I think it's the trader. Uh, and there are two variants of the clad Ruber that work passably well. There's the white one and then the silver one. And now obviously the silver one looks very gray in comparison. But when you're riding it, it looks pretty dang white. But obviously the white one is perfect. It's about the same size, shape, uh, look, and color of his horse from both the movie and the TV show. So I think the white clad Ruber is the best option. I think the white Arabian works as well because it's nice and shiny like his. The only problem is, is it's very small and he rides a bigger horse in both the TV show and the movie. So I, I don't think it works nearly as well. But either of those horses is going to be a decent option for Silver. But that's actually where we're going to end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found this useful if you wanted to imitate the Lone Ranger, which, you know, a lot of people clearly do, given the amount of requests that I've gotten for it. And so now you should be able to accurately imitate either the original from the TV show or the newer one from the movies. Uh, and with all that in mind, if you like this video, again, like I said, definitely leave a like on it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Please do it now and turn on the notification bell. And of course, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or any recommendations or suggestions, please put those down in the comment section below. I will definitely look at all of them, even if I don't get a chance to make the videos that you want to see. Uh, but with all that in mind, thanks a ton for watching the video, especially if you made it all the way to the end. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.